we're back again. We're talking exam two review. We're on problem number, bam, three. What do we, this looks 3D. We have a 3D reaction force problem. It says the bracket, zip, 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 right? This little rectangular bracket is supported by ball and socket joints. That's BS joints. I like to think of that as the trailer hitch joint, right? On the back of your car, you have a trailer hitch, right? A ball. And then over that, right? So what can happen? You can't move it in the X. You can't move it in the Y. You can't move it in the Z. If you move it in the Z, whoop, it's a bad day, right? But what about rotation? Yeah, it will rotate around this axis. It'll rotate around that axis. And it'll rotate around the other axis, right? So ball and socket joints have force reactions, but no moment reactions, okay? So what do we have going on here? Okay, so find the tension in the cable DC. All right, I think we can do it. I think we can do it. So the first thing I want to do is put on the reaction forces at A and B on the bracket, right? So on the bracket, what's going on is this. Number one, this guy is just going to be whoop, whoop, a force. We'll call it F. It goes from D to C, so we'll call it FDC, okay? And then over here, I have a pin connection. Now, which way do the reactions go? I have no idea. So I'm just going to guess them positive, okay? So let's say that this is BZ, and then we have, um, oh, let's call this the Y direction, BY, and then this, BX, okay? And then same thing over here, okay? I'm going to call this... A, uh, Y, A, Z, and A, X. Now, why did I assume I'm positive? Because I don't have any idea which way they really go. It's a 3D problem. It's really hard to figure out which way they go. I'm going to let the math do it for me, right? And if I get a negative, I'll know, hey, I just put them on the wrong direction. No big deal. Okay? So, because you can ask yourself, can I grab that bar and move it in the X? No. Can I grab it and move it in the Y? No. Can I move it in the Z? No. So that's why there's a reaction in each direction there. We have this, but then we got that guy. What is that guy? You know what that is? That looks like a 3D force vector to me. And if I had to guess, okay, I would say that that guy is going to have a Y component. I'll call it uh, DY. It's going to have a positive Z component. And it's going to have a negative X component, okay? That force is going to have three components to it. Well, I wonder how we could find that, that force that goes from D to C. <gasps> lambda hat, okay? So, lambda hat, so we're looking for this. F, D, C, right? Oh, that's not how you make a D and a C. D, C is equal to the magnitude of FDC. That's what we're actually looking for, right? The tension in the cable CD, that's what we're looking for. Uh, and if you don't want to call it, we can call it F or we can call it T. We call it F over there. Times lambda hat DC, okay? So how do I find lambda hat, which is that unit vector, right? Well, it goes from D to C, so I'm gonna do C minus D, okay? And point C. What are the coordinates of point C? Okay, let's do this. Let's just call this, let's call this the x-axis. We'll call this the y-axis, and we'll call this the z-axis. Since one isn't there, we can just make one up. That's no big deal, okay? So, um, C, point C is how much in the x? Zero. It's directly above the origin, isn't it? So zero in the X. How much in the Y? It's 80. And in the Z, it's elevated 110. Okay? So there's point C. What about point D over here? It is um, 90 in the X. And in the Y, it's zero. And in the Z, it's also zero, isn't it? Okay? So 0 minus 90 is minus 90, and then 80 minus 0 is 80, and then 110 minus 0 is still 110, okay? 
divided by the magnitude, 90 squared plus 80 squared plus 110 squared. All right, let's see how much that is, calculator. Where's my calculator? My pocket. In me pocket. Here we go. Okay, 90 squared plus 80 squared plus 110 squared. And then square root of that equals 163.1. So my lambda hat vector is going to be this. 90 divided by is 0.552. Okay, that's negative. And then 80 divided by 163.1. 0 0.490 and then one more is 110 divided by 163.1 0 0.674 okay yeah. so there's my lambda vector and how can you check if that's right well if you square it square it square it add them together take square root you should get one okay so that's lambda hat CD, right? So this guy has three components, dx negative, dy positive, dz positive. And there they are, right? There's the x, the y, and the z. Bam. All right. So the next step, what I think we ought to do is I think we ought to write all six of our equations. Okay? So here we go. Number one. Some of the forces in the x equals zero. What's in the x direction? Well, I've got uh, ax and bx. And I've got minus this guy, right? 0.552 FDC. Okay? There's the x equation. Boom. Some of the forces in the y. I've got uh, AY plus BY, and who else is in the Y direction? That guy, plus 0 0.490 FDC. Okay, now I know one of those is not right, right? Because positive, positive, positive equals zero? No, no, one of them's got to be negative, right? So I know that one of those is backwards. Some of the force in the Z. Okay, in the Z, I have AZ plus BZ minus 600, right, this guy right here. And then also in the Z, I have a positive here, so plus 0.674 FDC, okay? So all of that stuff there, I can't substitute, too many unknowns, I don't know. Um, we, we need some more info, don't we? Okay, we need some more info. All right, I'm gonna erase this because I'm gonna I'm gonna come back with three more equations at you, and that are that's our moment equations, right? Okay, so summing the moment about the x-axis, right? Things that make me spin around the x. All right, so here's our eyeball looking towards the origin. Okay, so who makes me rotate around the x? Well. That's all gone because it's on the X. That's all gone because it's on the X. Okay. Um, that guy rotates me. Ooh, negative. So minus 600 times how far away? 140. And then um, BY, does he make me rotate around the X? Well, if I follow him back. He will go through the x-axis, won't he? He'll go through the x over here, right? Do, 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 do. Bam. Okay. X can't cause rotation around x, so that guy's knocked out. And this guy, ooh, he, he makes me rotate positive. So plus bz times how far away? Um, 240. Okay. So bam. We just got bz, didn't we? We got bz. Oh, well, no help, no help. We, but we got BZ, right? Okay, how about this one? 
things that make me spin around the y-axis. Okay. You have to do it in a DJ voice. All right, what do we get? Things that make me spin around the y. Okay, where's the y? The y is back here. Okay. So all of this stuff at A, knocked out. How about any of this stuff here? Uh, DX goes through the Y. The Y can't cause rotation around Y, so DZ rotates, and our eyeball is looking towards the origin, right? So DZ is going to rotate me, let's see. That's clockwise. That'd be negative, wouldn't it? Minus DZ times that distance right there is 90. Okay. Then I got 600 rotate me the other way, so plus... 600 also times 90, okay? And then I got what's going on back here. Well, BX zoom, goes through the Y axis. BY in the Y direction. BZ rotates, zoom, which would be counterclockwise. It'd be positive, wouldn't it? So plus BZ times, it's 70 back there, isn't it? Okay. Now on this one, I know BZ from up here, so now, bam, I know DZ, right? Boo! Still no help with our tension, right? Because, let's see. Oh, and that's not really DZ, is it? I shouldn't have wrote DZ, should I? That's a bad plan. Come on, Dr. Hanson. BZ is right there. BZ is negative 0.674. FDC. Okay. Oh, I know BZ. I know the tension in the cable, don't I? Look at that. Look at that. See, I almost messed that up, didn't I? Okay, let's let's go get BZ right quick from this equation up here, right? BZ is equal to 600 on 600 times 140 equals divided by 240. 350 and and um, that's a positive number so that means that I guess BZ in the right direction right so now I can take that plug it in right here Zoop. okay so I move that to the other side uh so 350 times 70 plus 600 times 90 equals a big number divided by 90 divided by 0.674 and so FDC the tension in the cable is 1294.1 newtons now can we get the rest of the stuff yes can we do we can do it. Let's just go ahead and write the equation just for the fun of it. Things that make me spin around the Z, okay? What makes you spin around this Z axis? So all of the junk at A gets knocked out. DX gets knocked out. DZ gets knocked out. DY makes me rotate, ooh, counterclockwise. So, and DY is right there. So 0 0.490 FDC times how far away? times 90 away from the Z. Okay, who else makes me rotate? This does not, um, does not, uh, BZ does not, but both of those do, right? BX makes me rotate clockwise, so minus BX times 240. And then BY, which is on the back side of Z, makes me rotate also clockwise. So minus BY times uh, 70. Okay? So, uh, what do I know here? I got enough stuff to solve everything, don't I? Okay? I know BZ, which, and I know FDC. So that means I know AZ, right? If I know... FDC, I got AY and BY. Right, I've got to do some, I got to do some algebra to get the rest of the stuff I need, don't I? Okay, but you should be able to do it now. Okay, so there you go. The tension in the cable—that's what they ask us for. One thousand two hundred ninety-four point one. 
If you don't know what you're doing, just write the equations in order. Sum of the force in x, y, z. Sum of the moments about the x, y, z. And then the answer will fall right on your face. Okay, I'll see you next video.